hi guys welcome back to yet another video and guys can you imagine i recorded a whole intro without noticing that my mic microphone lapel was not well fixed so all this went voiceless but here i'm here to do a voice over so um i wanted to unbox the hand mixer that i just got from jumia and then i was also going to clean the items i had got from china square mall so yeah these are all baking equipment or utensils uh yeah so i just had to give them a thorough cleaning because of course being at the store they must have passed through so many hands and yeah that was that now on this video i'm going to be baking cinnamon rolls my first attempt at baking cinnamon rolls went left so i just wanted to do it again and uh, this is just how it went now i want to start baking the cinnamon rolls i'll just quickly show you the ingredients you're going to use to bake and then we proceed from there so we have two eggs we have yeast we have cinnamon we have butter or you can use margarine also we have a cup of milk we have vanilla essence and we also have sugar we start off by um, measuring our flour and i use three and a half cups of flour and then i warmed some milk and added uh, yeast and uh, sugar a tablespoon each we mix it well and set it aside for about 10 minutes for the yeast to activate. Meanwhile, as the yeast mixture is doing its thing, to the flour we are going to add a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of uh, vanilla essence, and a teaspoon of salt. And then we are going to add half a cup of margarine or butter depending on which you're using we're going to add uh, sugar to your taste i added five tablespoons of sugar and then we're going to mix it up This is how the yeast looks like after it has been activated in warm milk with sugar. It has risen. So we are going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. I'm going to use my hand mixer now to help me combine the ingredients together. Once it was soft enough, I switched to using my hands. Make sure your hands are clean before you start doing this process. Baby. Now we are going to switch to uh, using the countertop. Uh, just dredge some flour on the countertop, place your dough and knead. And now this is where you are needed to use your muscle because we need this dough to be very soft, very soft. And this is the method you use. You roll it away from you. So grab it and roll it away from you. Grab it and roll it away from you. Now, to test if the dough is ready, push a finger into it. It should stay, it should not bounce back. And our dough is ready, so we're going to place it in a bowl and cover it with the foil. And then we're going to leave it in a warm place for about an hour so that it can rise or double in size. So here we are. Our dough is ready to work on. Again, dredge some flour on the countertop, punch the dough to release the air that is trapped inside. 
and then now we are going to roll the dough out in a rectangular shape the bigger the better just try as much as possible to make it a rectangular so that it's easy to roll out so here we are going to apply the remaining margarine or butter apply generously and evenly up next mix some sugar and uh, cinnamon if you have brown sugar you can also use it and then we're going to dredge it evenly on the surface of our dough after that now we start rolling the dough so make sure you start with a very small roll and then as you progress it will, it's going to become bigger try now we are going to come in with the dental floss or a thread to cut the dough into pieces I'm using these ones because they give a clean cut as compared to a knife. The ones at the two ends will come out looking the way they want to look. Of course, that's because they were on the edge. So this is how our cinnamon rolls look like when they are cut. So I'm going to use my casserole dish and I'm going to line it with some butter or margarine. In this case, I'm using margarine. And then I'm going to arrange uh, the cinnamon rolls. I'm spacing them from each other because they are going to rise before I put them in the oven. So once I finished... Uh, Arranging them, I let them sit for like an hour and you can see that they have risen. They have almost doubled in size. So I put them in the oven and 20 minutes later I took them out so that I could brush some egg on it. Because I wanted to have them glazed when they were done. Thirty minutes later, this was the outcome. Our cinnamon rolls were done. So on a bowl, I added some icing sugar. We're going to be making some frosting for the topping. To the icing sugar, I added um, butter or margarine. And then I added some vanilla essence. Also added two tablespoons of milk. And I mixed it up. Now it was ready to top the cinnamon rolls. So I will just use a spoon to apply on each cinnamon roll. And then later on I'm going to come in with a spatula and spread it all even. So I just had to take one out so that I could taste it. I love how the sugar has melted into the cinnamon and the bread itself is so moist and crunchy at the top, moist inside. It's a very simple recipe, very easy to do. Make sure you try it. It's so delicious.